Hey everyone, in this video, I want to show you a really cool way that you can track and log on-chain activity into a Google Sheet. To do this, we'll be using Dispatch and Zapier to send smart contract data to Sheets anytime something interesting happens. I figured this would be useful for an NFT project that I'm interested in. It's an NFT project on Polygon called Smart Cats by Smart Layer. Now, as people interact with these NFT cats, we'll be able to see a running activity log in Sheets. Pretty cool, right? So here's how we're going to do that. All right, so to start sending on-chain activity to Google Sheets, you will need a few things. One, you need a paid Zapier account. I know, I know, it sucks, but Webhooks is considered a premium integration for Zapier. Two, you will need a free Dispatch account. And last, of course, you will need a free Google account so you can use Sheets. Now, to make things easier for yourself, we do recommend using one browser for Zapier, another one for Dispatch, and then a third one for Google Sheets. But for the sake of this demo and to make sure that things flow smoothly, I'm going to keep everything in one browser and just switch between tabs so that you can see the workflow without any interruptions. So let's get started. So there's specific data that I want to be sent to Google Sheets when interesting things happen in the Smart Cats contract. I want the timestamp, I want the activity name, I want the transaction hash, the block explorer transaction link, and then I also want the network. So let's go ahead and go into our sheet tab. Awesome, here we are. So now we just wanna add column headings to the Google Sheet. So based on the data that we decided on, we're going to use these column headings. All right, that looks pretty good. And believe it or not, this is really all that you need to do in Google Sheets. Everything else will just require Dispatch and Zapier. All right, so now let's go to Dispatch. So from this dispatch dashboard, all you have to do is choose the trigger and the action. So let's go ahead and click smart contract activity, select that, click on the action, and scroll all the way down to webhook. Select webhook. Click complete patch. It'll take you to the patch builder page. All right, now that we're on the patch builder page, we just have to fill in the rest of the information for the patch in dispatch. So let's go ahead and do that. So Smart Cats, the NFT project, is on Polygon. So let's go ahead and select our network, Polygon. Scroll down a little bit. Now all I have to do is add the smart contract. And here's how you can do that. So click here where it says select a smart contract, click add a smart contract. So now all you have to do is paste in the contract address for Smart Cats, give it a name, Smart Cats NFT. Go ahead and click add contract and it'll be added, as you can see. So after you add in the address, you'll be able to see all of the events and the functions available for monitoring. So here we go. If we scroll down, we can see the events. We can see the functions. Now we have some interesting ones here. We have accept play date, clean cat, feed cat, invite cat for playing, level up. So you know what? I wanna track all of that. I want to monitor, accept play date, clean cat, feed cat, invite cat for playing, and let's do level up. Let's go ahead and click continue. All right, so webhooks should already be selected as the application. So let's go ahead and stick with that. Click continue. Now, this is the fun part. This is where we're going to start switching tabs. Make sure to really pay attention with how to set this up. It's really simple, it just takes a second. So here where it says select an existing webhook or create a new one, this is where we'll be pasting in our Zapier webhook URL. So in order for us to do that, we need to create a zap in Zapier. So let's go ahead and switch to our Zapier tab. So let's go ahead and create it, create zaps, so why don't we go ahead and try their beta AI feature. Let's just type in webhooks to Google Sheets. Let's see what they generate for us here. Okay, awesome, yeah, this is it. Now let's go ahead and just select try it. Perfect, this is exactly what we need. Click on the trigger. The test section here is expanded, so let's copy the URL that you see here. Now, very important, do not close this tab because we'll be coming back and testing the trigger after we send the webhook payload from dispatch. But let's go ahead and go back to our dispatch tab. Now, remember this section where I said we'll be pasting in a Zapier webhook URL? Well, now that you've copied that URL, you can paste it into dispatch. All right, so let's go ahead and click to add a new webhook. 
let's name our webhook smart cats activity and then for the webhook URL all we have to do is just paste in that Zapier webhook URL that we copied from this tab so let's go ahead and paste that in right now great save boom okay perfect click continue now we want to send a test JSON payload want to make sure everything's all good and groovy okay it was successful it was able to send the data to our webhook what we're going to do is go back to the Zapier tab here we are go ahead and click test trigger and there you go all of the information and the data that we need is all right here now this looks scary especially if you're not technical and you don't understand a thing about smart contracts it can get overwhelming but that's why I'm here I'll show you how easy it is awesome so let's go ahead and click continue with selected record we want to make sure that we connect to the Google Sheets click sign in all right perfect so now that my account is connected click continue now for this part we just have to choose exactly where our spreadsheet was located so I'm gonna go ahead and do that it's in my Google Drive um, the spreadsheet is called smart cats activity and then for the worksheet it's just referring to that specific tab in the google sheets so for this one it says sheet one and if you had named it something different then it would show up as as that name so let's go ahead and click sheet one so once we selected where that spreadsheet was Zapier automatically detects the column headings. we'll select the data from dispatch that we want to go in each column so what we're going to do is actually search for the data. So let's go ahead and click one. Make sure that when you're searching for the data, you're not typing in this top box here. Make sure you're typing it in this one. So for this one, it's the timestamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for the timestamp. There we go, details, timestamp, boom. Let's move on to the next one. Now, if you have the activity name column in your sheet, to capture the smart contract event or function names, all you have to do is search signature name. So let's go ahead and select signature name. There we go, details, signature name. Now, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and fill out the rest of the section. All right, so now that we've moved past that section, let's make sure the data looks correct in the Google Sheet itself. So why don't we go ahead and click on the test step button. All right, there you go. It says the spreadsheet row was sent to Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and switch over to our Google Sheets tab. There we go. And as we can see, a test payload was sent to Google Sheets and added as a new row. Also, keep in mind that this is a sample payload and not the actual data. We're just checking to make sure that the right type of data is going into each column. Because that was a test row, we can actually go ahead and delete it. We don't need that info in there. So let's just delete it. So let's go back to Zapier. Everything here is all good and done. All we have to do is just click publish. There we go. Awesome. The Zap is published. Now let's switch back over to the dispatch tab. Let's go ahead and give our patch a name. Let's name it Smart Cats Activity Webhook. All right, let's go ahead and turn that patch on. There we go, success. Now, as you can see, this contract is actually super active. As you can see, it's already fired 31, 61 actions in like three seconds. So let's go to our Google Sheets, switch over there. Now, if you wanted to make some things fun, you can create some visualizations and charts. So for example, I quickly added this chart to show the different activities that occur. You know, as more people join and interact with the project, we can see how community engagement ramps up based on different activities like play dates or feed cat. And having access to these kinds of analytics and insights lets us make better decisions and build smarter products. And that's really the true power of automating your on-chain data workflow with tools like Dispatch. And that's a wrap. As you can see, it's really easy to use Dispatch and Zapier to log on-chain activity into Google Sheets. 
This could be great for spotting trends over time as more people start adopting and engaging with the project. You could use this same workflow to track anything, your own wallet, activity across DeFi protocols, marketplaces, DAOs, NFT lending platforms, and even blockchain game activities. So no more manual data entry or checking block explorers repeatedly hoping you don't lose your place. And because it's already formatted in sheets, you can actually create some really cool visualizations, charts, add some filters, anything to slice and dice the information. All right, well, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as we'll be posting more videos walking you through other no-code automations that you can easily set up.